Welcome back to the Atticus Self-Publishing Insights and Events Playlist. As a self-publishing author myself and a professional in the self-publishing industry, I follow a lot of YouTubers and websites and TikTokers and every other form of media that talks about writing books, publishing books, and basically anything to do with books. I see a lot of trends and movements and everything seems to come and go in waves. Over the last week, I have noticed a lot of people talking about designing your own book covers. This has been a hot topic. I'm not sure what spurred this conversation, but everybody seems to want to know more about designing their own book covers. Now with Atticus, you may know it is a book writing and formatting software, but it is not a graphics design program. So I won't be talking about designing your book cover, but I do want to talk about the topic of book covers because it is very relevant. And there are many ways in which Atticus can help you if this is an area that you're focused on right now. So we're kind of going to talk about creating your book covers and kind of not. Let me take you through my thought process. Okay, so let's start with a simple Google search. I put in design your own book covers, and then I went over to the tools section here and just adjusted for results in the past month. I wanted to show you how popular this topic has been. So all of these videos and articles have been published in the past month. And this list goes on. There are plenty. So you can go and do this search for yourself and find all of these same videos and articles. My favorite resource is always going to be kindlepreneur.com. If you go to kindlepreneur.com and do a search for book cover, there is a wealth of information. This is highly researched. And as you can see, they cover just a variety of different ideas, software services, genres, using imagery, they've got guides, they've got planning, they've got guest speakers and all the topics that you could need. So that would be where I would go as a first stop for my resources to design the book covers. But as I mentioned, designing the cover itself isn't really what we're gonna be talking about today. Atticus also does a lot to help you get your book cover created, whether you're doing it yourself or hiring a professional. One of the resources we have on our website is this page that shows you how you can reduce your print costs. If you've been publishing for a while, you know Amazon changed their royalty and printing costs last year, and this article was in response to that. So this gives you strategies to reduce your print costs, and there's a great link to a tool which I'm going to show you, and it also shows you how you can use Atticus to optimize your book settings, and this influences your book cover. So the trim size that you print your book at will adjust based on how many pages are in your book, and that's what you're going to need to know to design your book cover and get it to fit properly. So this article walks you through a lot of really helpful steps, and I will link this in the description below. The link to the calculator here is really quite cool. Our programmers came up with this really great royalty calculator. You can plug in the details of your book and find out what your royalty rate is going to be. This means how much money per book you actually get to keep in your pocket when you're publishing through KDP for the print book of your book. There is also an ebook calculator. So you can also do that, but particularly what we're going to talk about today is your paperback book or your hardcover back. So you can choose those here. Now you just will need to know your page count more than anything. I'm going to show you how to get that with Atticus and what a difference a few little swaps can make and how Atticus can help you save money. Now this is really important for KDP. But if you're publishing anywhere else, you still need to know all the details, like particularly the page count of your book. 
Once you have these numbers, you can go over to KDP. They have a cover calculator. You can put in all your preferences and it will actually give you a template. If you're publishing through someone else like Ingram Spark, you can Google it. They will do the same thing for you here. You pop in all of your details and they will give you the size that you need to make your print cover. So that it includes a front cover, a spine and a back cover and it fits properly. Now I wanna jump into Atticus and show you some of the ways that you can use our program to reduce the cost of printing your books and just get a little bit more information and make sure you have the right size for your book cover. So in Atticus, when you're in the formatting mode, I've already come in to edit my theme. Now, 6.14 by 9.21 is a really popular trim size. It is not the standard, but a lot of authors like to use it so that their books are just that tiny bit larger than the average. Now this does not include bleed. So if you are using a background image, like you can see here, this number will go up, but this is the one that is the final trim size. So six by nine is probably more popular, but 6.14 by 9.21 is a really common size for people who want to set their books apart. One thing that you'll want to know is the page count. So you can see under the print previewer, Atticus will show you the total number of pages in your book when it's printed at this trim size with all of these settings. So this is what you'll want to do at the very, very end. Once you've established your font size, you've made all your edits, you've got your line spacing and margins set, and you've chosen your trim size. This number is the last thing that you will want to collect. So my book here is 216 pages at this trim size. If I go into the calculator that I showed you, which will also be linked in the description box below, you can see here that I have set a paperback book with black and white as my interior colors. I've got my number of pages at 216. I'm going to be publishing through Amazon and I want my book to be $9.99. We'll just say, well, let's go to $11.99. I think that's more. Let's, let's keep a, a few extra dollars. So we'll go to $11.99. Now this says after June 20th. This is because June 20th, 2023 is when Amazon made their changes to their pricing structure. Anything, any books that you're printing that are 6.12 wide or larger or larger than nine inches. So if your book is that 6.12 by 9.24 that I have mine set at, it is now classified as a large trim. If you are printing six by nine, it is a standard trim. So anything larger than 6.14 or nine inches, anything larger is a large trim. So that's how I have it set up here. And you can see my effective royalty rate is 21%. So for every book that I sell at $11.99, I'm actually keeping $2.52 in my pocket. Now, some of that is printing costs and some of that is Amazon's fee. So you can see Amazon's making twice as much as me on every book that I sell in addition to the print costs. So royalty rate 21% still doesn't sound too bad, right? If I go back into Atticus and I change this to be six by nine so that I can go down to that standard rate, I'll be able to adjust my numbers in the calculator and see what a difference that makes. So it does take a moment for Atticus to recalculate your page count, but when it's done, you'll see the new number in the parentheses below your previewer. Now this has gone up to 220 pages. So just a few extra pages to reduce the size of the cover here. So if I take that new number, 220 pages, and I bring it into the calculator and I change this to 220, now I can move the trim size down to standard and it brings my royalty rate up to 30%. I now get to keep $3.55 in my pocket for every book. A tiny little change like that can really make a difference in your earnings. So you're going to want to play around with your page count, test these different trim sizes. Now there really is only a difference in price with KDP when you're going below the six by nine versus above. So you can try out, say you wanna do a five by eight book, 
see how many pages that will come up to you and pop that in here. Test a few different trim sizes, see what works for your book. Now, once you have decided exactly what trim size is going to make you the most profit, you'll wanna take that same page number and pop it into any calculator or give it to your cover designer because that is going to be key when you are creating your cover template. So with KDP, you come in and you choose what type of book you're creating, all of the same details. It's really just multiple choice. So we've decided on six by nine and my page count is 220. You're always going to wanna to use the number that is in parentheses under your print previewer. And so once you have it all in there, you can calculate the dimensions and Amazon will give you this template and you can use that and go follow all the rest of those videos and tutorials and training guides and create your cover with this information. Now you can do the same with Ingram Spark as well, and it's basically the same situation. When you're working in Atticus, you will want to upload your ebook cover. So once you have your cover design, you do want to upload the ebook cover version to your book details. So we're right up here where it says edit book details, click that button and upload your ebook cover here. You do not have to import the print cover. Every publisher that you work with is going to require you to upload a completely separate PDF of your print book cover, whether that is paperback or hardcover, both works the same way. Because it has to be an entirely separate PDF from your manuscript, you don't bring it into Atticus at all. So that's just a little extra information for you. You do want to import your ebook cover, but you will not bring your PDF print book cover into Atticus. So we hope this has been interesting for you and insightful. I hope you're having tons of fun writing your books and creating your book covers. I know having a beautiful book cover really helps bring your book to life and it is a very exciting part of the process that I hope you're truly enjoying. If this information was interesting and helpful for you, please do give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube can share it with more self-publishing authors like yourself. And you may also want to subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell so that you're always aware when I release a new video, either training you on Atticus itself or sharing more self-publishing insights and events for the industry. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you again soon.